Welcome home. We are WNST AM 1570 Towson, Baltimore and Baltimore Positive. We are uh, recovering from the big game and uh, we were up at Hollywood Casino for that. Uh, I came this close to betting the Chiefs and I didn't, uh, but I did have a good time. Football season's over. As you can see, pitchers and catchers have reported. I am wearing my orange, uh, ornithologically correct on this side, uh, Curio Wellness uh, shirt. Curio Wellness, of course, sponsoring our 25th anniversary, and we've counted down our 25 stories of glory. We've launched our crab cake row and our cup of Super Bowl. And uh, last I saw Wendy, I was standing upright. I hadn't cried yet, maybe, because it was like the first day of the first day. Uh, we'd only been bounced off the air once. That happened a couple more times. Then I stabilized because I figured out how to work my equipment and other things. But things went wrong after you left, uh, Wendy, along with uh, James Piper Bond from <laughs> Living Classrooms. Um, the, the the floor at Fadley's is pitched a bit like a movie theater, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And I stood there. And, you know, I got, I got back issues. We've talked about this. So, um, And then on Tuesday, I arrived early. At Costas in otherwise very comfortable chairs. And I sat and, and like I sit funny when I'm with guests. Like I sort of sit on my tippy toes and I move forward a little bit, as opposed to when I'm I'm really relaxed with folks like you. I sit back a little bit, more like Johnny Carson and relax a little bit. But I sat up and I came home and bad things happened. So Tuesday night, my back sort of fell apart, and literally I went to this, all right. And I'm not gonna say that this saved me, it helped. But there was Advil, there was ice, there was heat, there was um, chiropractic, there was a lot of time on a foam roller and yoga that I didn't get to go to class because I was doing this like 12, 13 hours a day, and I fell apart. So um, thank you for, for helping me with the Move product, and this is where I can begin. Our uh, chief cannabis officer, Wendy Bronfine, joins us from Curio Wellness. Um, I fell apart last week, but you were part of it, and... It was glorious. Thanks for participating. It was great. Yeah. I, um, you were supposed to bring the Enoch Pratt people by uh, from the free library, and you didn't even know. I went like sort of around the corner, and next thing I know, an hour after you left, Megan McCorkle showed up, and we did, you know, Jada Pinky oh, nice. stuff. We did readings and cards and libraries and internet. We did it. So, I mean, I tried to hit all the high marks last week, but I needed pain relief by the weekend. <laughs> Well, I do have to say, because my husband this weekend was dealing with a back thing, too, and um, typically uses the move for stuff. But when it really flares up, he uses the um, the blood orange turmeric um, chews that are 20 THC to 4 CBD for that pain relief factor. So if you find yourself in like a pickle again. And it's really bad. I would say go for that chew if you're going to be home and you need, you know, maybe instead of the Advil, it's something to try. So hold on. Say that again, because I'm not familiar with the product. And this reminds me of being in your dispensary, looking up and there's stuff spinning at me and there's menus and there's this and that. It, like, I want to make sure I get the right thing. So is this a medical so the flavor? or is this a, an adult use product? Well, so this one, this one is medical because it has 20 milligrams of THC in it. So you, you so need to we'll get you a little it. high loopy, like a cough syrup would. Yeah, yeah, but the other thing is, is that it does have four milligrams of CBD. So you've got that pain inflammation mix in there. Um, you know, the way to, the way to sort of, I guess, backdoor your way into that on an adult use side would be to buy a, um, a good day chew that's the high CBD, low THC, and then take like um, a, a quarter of a, of a 10 milligram chew and add that in. So you add some more THC into a high CBD product would be a different way to get there if you're an adult use consumer. I hear CBD um, But for you as time. a medical patient, yeah. yeah. To define CBD, because that, that's where you're giving me the differences. You need CBD. That's going to be what's going to help your inflammation, correct? Yeah. So CBD, which typically gets derived from hemp versus the cannabis plant, um, is, is federally legal. Um, so, you know, our, our sort of pain point is that it's everywhere, right? And so, like, you know, we wouldn't, you know, you can buy it at a gas station, 
but you can also buy like a high quality product um, in, in stores like ours and others. So it's really important that you're, you're getting the right CBD if you want to look for CBD. Um, but CBD really tends to be very supportive on the inflammatory side and THC is supportive on the pain side. So when you're dealing with something like, like you were saying, like this back issue, you know, if you're home, if you're not going to be driving and going out and stuff, you know, using a higher potency THC with CBD can be very beneficial to mitigate your pain and to deal with the inflammation. I don't know that I told you this, but the last time I was in your shop, uh, I ordered online and I had never done that. And I'm very squeamish. Like I talked last week, even with the banner guys, I had just a great conversation about sports with, uh, I had so many great conversations. Find them all at Baltimore Positive. I'll brag on all of them. I, I thought everybody brought their A game when they weren't nervous. Uh, and we worked through all that. And here's the worst part. It was like when you first started doing the show, it's like, how's my hair? How's my makeup? How's my lighting? And then after a while, it's like, all right, let's just talk about this. And by the time, I look by the end of the week, I'm like, please don't look too good because I don't look good right now. I mean, I'm in this marathon <laughs> thing. The pictures of me on Thursday and Friday, I look a little like um, – but but I was going to say, I, I at the end of the week, I did – I went online. My wife was driving. She's like, let's stop by. And, and I'm a guy that like comes in and I go and I talk and I – you know, I talk to people, try to learn. I read. You talk? <laughs> I didn't want to talk last week. This speaks to this, okay? I did 40 hours on the air. I didn't want to talk to anybody. But I, my wife's like, dude, just go on the app, click the little button, add to the little basket, and when you get there, and I think I asked you about Dutchie Pay at one point, that I yeah. actually did that. And I don't know. I'm sort of used to hanging out and waiting in line. I, You know, I don't need to be fast passed or anything. But – um, there was something about like it was there, it was ready, I was in, I was out, and I was like, why don't I do this more often, you know? And then there's the <laughs> other part of when one time the I there was something online and I didn't order it and I showed up and they're like, yeah, we have one left, and I'm like, oh, I should have ordered it. So I mean, there really is like, I'm learning, I'm getting older. People like you are educating me when. Yeah, I mean, it. I think that's a great convenience that you can take advantage of. I mean, the, there's there's sort of two parts to it. One is, um, you know, when you're doing the order for pickup, you are having us prepare, you know, your bag of goods. Um, you're paying for it when you show up on site. So you still have the ability to add or subtract from your order. So you're not necessarily locked into what you put from the um from the cart online, um, you obviously have much better convenience in terms of like, it's ready to go. And if so, if you know what you want, it's a great solution. I mean, there's also the element of just the functionality of the queue, right? So there's sort of three lanes of traffic, you could call it happening, right? You come into the dispensary, are you coming in and you've placed an order for pickup, right? That, that provides a more express service. Are you coming in and you're medical, right? Medical is prioritized in the service line um, that comes from from the law and then um, are you I didn't know in that and, by the way know, and I'm medical so I I do get in faster even when it's a little slower right literally correct okay fair yes. enough. Okay. yeah so if you want to talk to someone and engage you're still as a medical patient going to be seen in the queue bef ahead of an adult use because that's that's how the um, the law is written uh, if you place the order and it's ready for pickup, you're going to be pulled back faster because you're 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 basically done. You're just paying and leaving. Um, and so if you're just coming in and you want to talk, you want to figure it out, you want to have conversations and, you know, you're in the queue. Um, but it's never terribly long. You know, we all know it's it's busier on the weekends. It's extremely busy when it's a holiday weekend. We always see. But it, it moves pretty quickly nonetheless. Wendy Bronfine is here. She is the uh, chief brand officer at Curia Wellness and Far and Daughter. You can find them out on York Road, just south of uh, of Timonium Road. Um, I, I dare I say, and I always think about this with barbecue, because when you go to barbecue places, you don't get there one, two o'clock. They'll run out of some brisket. They'll run out of things. Uh, you, on your specials, because I get your emails every day, and there's certain brands or certain things or certain days, and there's Tuesdays, and there's days that people know. And listen, I'm from Dundalk. I'm a cheapskate, right? Like, you know, like literally I'm looking for specific things, the specific days that are going to, I'm going to want and buy in whatever bulk or whatever discount there's going to be. Do you run out of stuff at two o'clock in the air? I mean, is there a point where something comes in and you're putting it on a deal that you're like, order that at 10 in the morning, put it in the bag, drop it off. You can pick it up at five o'clock or six o'clock later that day after work. But I would think 
I have been left lonely in the past. I mean, there have been times where at nine in the morning, something's on your menu and at four in the afternoon, it's not there anymore. Yeah. I mean, typically um, we, we, we work to have a really robust inventory of stuff, particularly things we know are popular. The most oftentimes you see that are with um, strains, usually in flower, sometimes in vape that are just so beloved that like when it shows up, like people will grab it. Like we've seen that for years with things like Blissful Wizard. Um, that's a strain that can move real quick right out of the store. Um, but like for things that are- Like more, order in like a car, you got to order it ahead of time and wait right, for right. it, right? Literally, but, right? But for things like the Move and other products like that, they, they should always be available. I mean, that's what we really pride ourselves on is the ability to produce the volumes needed to support um, our dispensary partners and have our products readily available in stock because exactly what you're saying, like when you like it and you want to replace it, you want to know um, that it's there. I was in uh, Costas a couple weeks ago and some people, it was January, they were disappointed that other people got crabs and they didn't get them and they didn't order them. And these were not like local people or particularly, and I'm wow. thinking to myself, every time I've ever had on, and, um, and Damie down at Fadley's would always, her father, Bill, famous wife, you know, uh, Nancy made the crab jumbo love. He would always say, it's the last thing in the world. We have to literally hunt the crabs. There's no, we don't grow them there's no farm for them there's no oyster there's oyster farms now there's no crab farms we have to and i think the same thing would be true with blissful Wizard. you have to grow a plant and this is sort of a newish right. industry and we've talked about this at the beginning but the flower part of it is there's only so much and there's only so much at 32 percent or uh you know sort of that way that um crabs are like that and i say barbecue joints are like that but there is a limited supply of certain things right I mean, I think to a certain extent, but also there's the ability to control how much of that supply there is um, relative to how much you plant and how much you can grow and how much space you have to grow, right? Not every grower is the same size and doesn't have the ability to grow as much um, as we refer to it, biomass. Um, but yeah, I mean, that I constantly, when I, I mean, you saw this probably when I gave you a tour, but I always, I make that um, analogy between the flower buds and the crab meat, like I feel like there, there is a good <laughs> comparison there in terms of like, you know, your A buds, those big buds, you know, that's your jumbo lump, right? Then you've got your B bud, like smaller buds, you're down to your lump. And then, you know, your trim is kind of like your back fin. So and, and what and we're kind of picking that flower, so to speak, for all of its material, just like you clean out that crab for every last bit of meat. Curio, and you wonder, it's a Maryland company. This is what we're talking about. We get to, to mix <laughs> crabs and uh, kids. All right, so you did a great job of uh, titillating over the last three weeks about the uh, Valentine's Day. Now the Valentine's Day is here, gone. Um, and I'm assuming the orange shirt's back in with the orange. But, I, you know, I was hoping for like a raspberry O shirt, you know, O wow. for her pleasure or whatever, right? Like I could wear the O shirt on because O Orioles begins with O, right? O, yeah. O, like while Bill O, right? How did we? How did we do? The last time I was in the store, I came in and I it was when I ordered online and the signs were everywhere and it's Valentine's Day, but. From what you've told me about this, don't make this like eggnog or some seasonal like peaches where it's only in for a month or whatever, or pumpkin, which seems to last a little longer. But I would think the O product as designed for the love holiday, it, you know, don't take that away from me. I mean, that's got to be available in March and April and May, right? Um, yeah. So I think we used Valentine's Day to reintroduce it. I think I had shared this previously, but we did see some sort of prudish behavior towards it when we were in medical. So I think part of it is us evaluating, you know, with adult use, do we see a different audience, an audience who is like, this is a resource that I want and that I like. Um, and yes, we do plan to carry it with greater freedom. Frequency, but I think right in this moment, we are looking at kind of what kind of response do we get in adult use that maybe we, and hopefully that we weren't seeing when it was medical, which I always found very ironic because it still had very much a therapeutic nature, but people just seem to like, that was a, a topic they weren't as comfortable being friendly with their bud tender about. I'm 
trying to think of a product that hasn't been marketed to me in a sexual way. That's going to make me more handsome, make me smell better. Like every single product. I mean, sports, the highest ever. It's Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey. You either have a crush or you're, you know, good guy, bad guy, but sex sells, but this is science. Like more than anything, we could talk about, you, you know, any product can be made to, with the right, right commercial and the right lighting, but this is science is what we're talking about with your product. Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, look, every time, anything that we make, we always have some form of a trial going on at, at different levels of quote intensity, right? Like our sleep product was a very formalized clinical trial that we did, but even this O product, I mean, there have been multiple people who have tested the product, um, whether it's the flower form, the vape form, the chew form, or the intimacy oil. And they are giving us surveys and feedback that relate directly to the sexual activity that they participated in while using the product. And, you know, if we don't get those results that say, yeah, that was a lot better. I liked it a lot. Like we're not, we're not commercializing that product. So uh, we have to see, even with that intimacy oil, when we originally developed it, it was multiple multiple rounds that we went through to get um, to that oil where, you know, it was, we got that fireworks response from our survey. I thought the mark, the packaging of it's just great though. I like the, the raspberry OH. I thought I'd like that. That's where the creativity begins for a marketing guy like me to say, Hmm, I wonder what second place was, but that's a really good pick for, uh, for what you called it. Not just because I'm an Orioles well, if, fan too. Yeah. <laughs> well, if you like, if you like the packaging, I encourage you to go to um, the sort of micro site we have for the product. Um, I'm trying to think of how to say this gingerly, but essentially, uh, as you learn about the product and migrate through the pages, you are stimulating the website to a climax. All right. I think we can drop the mic after that. Wendy Bronfine is here. (laughs) She is our chief cannabis officer at Baltimore Positive, as well as uh, the chief brand officer for all things Curio Wellness and Foreign Daughter. Um, Anything coming down the line? I mean, you had a can of blitz uh, with the baseball thing. I don't you have to have a grand slam train or something coming here soon, right? Um, Yeah, uh, I guess let's keep that under wraps for what what could come out during. baseball season but you are right we, we do have our can of blitz when it's um when it's football season um i think hope where i think we're all really hopeful this is going to be a a new and exciting era we're entering yeah where sports doesn't end when the ravens get eliminated right. it just begins it, it certainly yeah. feels that it's way like, to me yeah it's like my four-year-old said he's like Football's over, but that's okay. It's just in time for baseball season. I was like, you go, dude. Yeah, <laughs> you're teaching them right. All right, I like to hear that. Uh, you can find our friends uh, at Curio Wellness. Go to CurioWellness.com to learn a whole bunch of things. If you want to stop in, say hello, learn stuff, adult use, It's we're all on the up and up now. Go in and learn about these products and learn different ways they can help you. Um, and, uh, you know, uh, from flour to things like the move bomb that I was using all last week that I literally, I was going to like be goofy on the air with you and like literally rub it on my shoulders and rub it. Cause, but I already put it on once and I'm not going to do it again because it's the middle of the day and I need, I'm running low. I got to get back over to the store and I'll order it ahead of time. Now put it in a little basket and I'll make life a little easier, but I probably won't. Cause I, you know, I like coming in and seeing your store a little bit. So um, these back out yet, you got the, the orange shirts for the baseball season. Oil shirts not back out yet, but uh, bring them back out when we get a little closer to opening day. All right. Well, I got my uh, 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 I'm a blunt person shirt around here. I'll get that one out for next week. Wendy Brownfine can be found at Acuria Wellness. Uh, They're doing great things out there. Uh, We've been talking about it, our 25th anniversary, and they're sponsoring that as well, Uh, as well as all of last week's stuff that you're hearing this week and you're going to find next week. There were like 70 plus pieces uh, that are coming your way out of Baltimore Positive. I don't have that much space on the front of the website to put it all up at one time. It was literally that much stuff. But Luke is monitoring all things Orioles and Ravens uh, as we have pitchers and catchers reporting. 
We're trying to figure out free agency in the next couple of weeks. Uh, we also got the combine coming up. So sports will be a part of this. But in the meantime, please, I uh, hope everybody's enjoying all of our uh, a cup of soup or bowl conversations in our Crab Cake Road chats about everything from uh, breast cancer and, and uh, orphan children and military and ways to donate, and ways to help, uh, and people just doing really, really good stuff. And, and most importantly, feeding people just so much with pantries, so much with feeding people in the Maryland Food Bank. And Carmen Del Guecho got me crying twice in one segment, but it was 57 minutes long last week. So uh, I'm done crying this week. I'm going to get real happy about the notion that opening day is right around the corner. I am Nestor. We are WNST, AM 1570 Towson, Baltimore. And we never stop talking Baltimore positive.